Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Victoria 2 where we are playing the glorious kingdom of Siam. The war still rages in Europe as it did before uh, and we're kind of stuck here trying to... Oh my god, Italy is occupying the Dutch <laughs> territory here. It's just ridiculous. Uh, but anyway, um, we are amidst reforming our army, which is working kind of nice. We're sending the colonial army to uh, Indiragiri, where our units will be stationed and prepared to, you know, in case something goes wrong, they will be there, ready for whatever happens. Nice, finally, you get the drying techniques. That will help us with the throughput of, well, pretty much all our major resources, opium, spices, and, uh, well, we don't have tea, and I don't think we have fruit either. And we got Pierre Joseph Prudhon. Prudhon was apprentice, uh, was emperor. Prudhon was apprenticed as a printer and became interested in politics after he was involved in the printing of the new industrial and cooperative world by Charles Fourier. Prudhon now turned to writing and in 1843 published What is Property? In the book, Prudhon attacks the injustice of inequality and coined the phrase property is theft. Prudhon published uh, his most important work, System of Economic Contradictions. Uh, wait, what? Prudhon published his most important work, System of Economic Contradictions, was published in 1846. Karl Marx responded to Prudhon's book by writing The Poverty of Philosophy in 1847. This was the beginning of the long-term struggle for ideas between the two men. Proudhon was opposed to Marx's authoritarianism and his main influence was on the libertarian socialist movement. Okay, well, obviously they didn't like each other. Man, our taxes are now checked up. We can lower them, I guess. Or anything? No? Okay, let's increase the defense spending a bit. Uh, but yeah, it's it's the exports, guys. We are producing so much opium and everything that... Yeah, spices. Oh my god, this helped us a lot. I should have gone for this way earlier. Fucking hell, let's... Increase this more. Let's tax the rich a bit more, but I think we'll be okay. Okay, so the artillery is ready here. Go to Bangkok and we get the trusty system. Oh, I think we already had this one. Uh, the whip, whip cracks out of love. Uh, so, the trusty system or trust this system was a correction system originated in the US state of Mississippi, but also employed in Alabama, Texas, Louisiana, and others, under which prison convicts with a record of good behavior, often equated with obedience, were allowed to, pol uh, were allowed to police other prison inmates in a strict pseudo-military hierarchy of power, with some inmates deemed especially trustworthy, even being allowed to carry firearms. For profit, convict labor was a cornerstone of the system. Uh, the trustee system was first employed in the Parchment Farm prison in Mississippi and was, as the 19th century turned into the 20th, much lauded as a profitable and modern correction system. Reports of widespread inmate abuses would end the system in 1970s, but in 1900s it was all the rage in certain Siamese states. That sounds rather dreary. I don't want any of that in my country. So, here is... Um, uh, what is this? This is called... Siamese Siak. Okay, so we'll call it the Siak army. Siak Siamese army. And send you to here. Okay, we finished... No, we didn't. We finished something else. In Sami Siak, Binary... Oh, okay. And we have... The reform. Let's get a... Free press. Okay, that might 
help with the immigration and immigration. No, we're still getting it a bit, but not by much. It seems to be okay. Prussia, Homo Neanderthal is discovered. And Prussian scientist team had found bones of... Oh, hey, is the war over? Oh, it's over. How did it end? Oh, I think it ended in white peace. Oh, yes, there are so many revolts. France is starting to get revolts. Prussia. Homo Neanderthal is discovered. A Prussian scientist team had found bones of a primitive ancient man at a location near Düsseldorf in German territory. According to Prussian team leader, the Neanderthals appear to be an extinct species of, or subspecies of the genus Homo, which seems closely related to the modern humans. As scientists have never ever seen bones like this before, the prestigious finding has already given much international attention to Prussia. National Council of Science in Berlin and will surely enhance for research in these fields. Good for them. Oh my god, let's hope. Let's hope they will not be able to suppress uh, this revolt. Because these are all... Oh no, that's French White Army. Those are French reactionists. Uh, communist in Queen Hon. Okay. Okay, France is torn to pieces by rebels. And their army is fairly weakened. Man, I'm thinking, thinking, do we want to attack them? Who are they allied with? Now they're still allied with so many people. Empire of Brazil, Luxembourg, Netherlands, Austria, Hungary. We can't just go and fight them. If they get strong enough rebels, that would be something entirely different, but they didn't. Oh my god, and our taxes are already down where and they were before, so it didn't help that much. Okay, 45. Education will stay up, but military spending will go down to, say, 75%. Okay, we're encouraging soldiers online. We're getting more units available now. Shan Infantry and Lao Infantry. Siak, Siamese army. I'm thinking about having a Pontiac garrison kind of stationed there. Hussars. No, I wanted the Hussars for these two armies. Okay, so we finished the breach with the rifles now, uh, which eventually give us a huge bonus to our army. Uh, strength, and I'm gonna go with this iron wooded artillery now. And the question is, do we want to strengthen these two armies by adding? I guess we should. I don't know to be honest uh, how exactly the Hussars work, but they are very good uh, for your units because I guess the reconnaissance give you a bonus to encounters or something like that. Not entirely sure. Home Rifle Smiths. Hmm. By using our limited battle experience, we can set up small scale weapon manufacturing. I guess. I want the rebels. Jacobin rebels, really? Rebel power is increasing. Oh my god, these guys are dangerous. Jacobin rebels could be really bad. In France? Oh my god, Britain. All these nations are just. Torn to pieces by revolution. Well, Russia is just standing there like, nope. Are you kidding? Is the Qing Empire losing war to... Kar was it? Kashgaria. <laughs> Anarcho liberals. Okay. Great Britain, yep. So British reactionaries have enforced the demand in Great Britain. No voting, ruling party only, meetings not allowed, state press only, state control, only on the ground, uh, political reform, nobody gets out, mandatory service and oppression. Holy crap. That's a step back. 
we might start seeing a lot of immigration happening here. Natural growth. Oh, and we can get another reform. I don't want the voting. Uh, let's uh, move the conscription down. It's gonna help a bit too. Okay, let's repay the loans here. Lower the tax a bit, but let's keep it where it is for now. I'm interested in seeing what's gonna happen next here. Major discover advanced machine or techniques. Advanced machine reports factory. Oh, that one would be good. But I don't think we have anything for that. Yeah, this one is useless, really. Thinking about shutting it down and getting a different different factory. Okay, so check my hussars. Communists is power in Ireland. Ireland is now communists. Tutankhamun's tomb. Opening the inner granite. Little. Okay. Mashir Bangkok Prohibitious Cap and Salvan. Uh, opening the inner granite lid leading to the tomb, I was met by a breath of air that had been left undisturbed for some 3,000 years. To the best of my knowledge, I was the first to disturb Pharaoh's sleep since he was laid to rest all those thousands years ago. There, standing in the ancient air of the crypt, I felt the smells of weed growing on the Nile, perfume and alabaster vases, and a hint of dying papyrus. The most marvelous discovery of the century has been made by British archaeologists working in the Valley of the Kings, the previous undiscovered tomb of the 19-year-old pharaoh Tutankhamun. Okay, and we have a revolt. Uh, not, not terrible. Okay, I think we can deal with this easily. So we're fighting in Bangkok with these guys. Yeah, we should be okay. Especially since the reinforcements have just arrived. I don't think we even need... Yeah, we don't even need to raise the budget here, really. We'll just be able to, to defeat them uh, by the pure force of strength. So let's see how we're performing. Okay, let's see what the Hussars are doing. Check my regular Bangkok R2 or Bangkok R2. Yeah, they're... Okay, they're in the front line. It's a bit weird, but okay, I'll give it to them. Okay, we lost 68 men. And... Two-year draft. I don't want the voting. I don't want the voting. I don't want the voting, especially if... Well, the conservatives would win, but people's ideologies are all fucked up, and I would have to work with that severely to make sure they don't tear this country to pieces. Okay, France seems to have... Okay, they're only allied with the Netherlands now. Okay, these are the Hussars for the other army. Okay, so go here. Oh, okay. So that's... that's that. <laughs> well, that was easy enough. Uh, so the Siam Royal Army... Okay, but we lost some men in the fighting and that didn't bode well for us, to be honest. Okay, let's keep it like this. The taxes are okay. We're building another factory somewhere. Siamese Northern Malaya. Early small arms factory. Don't we have that already? <coughs> no, I don't think we do. Uh, okay, so our infamy is still 18, but all pumping machinery, all production throughput plus 100%. And food packing system, canned food production output plus 2%. Good. Now, what if we tried to get 
cast his belly on you guys. Especially Atiyah. It's such a big country, I f I'm thinking we might make them a puppet. Okay, the 1901 World's Fair is in Paris. Let's see if we can justify war. 23rd of February. Our relations are too high, god damn it. So once more... Lower the oh, I think it has to be below 50, doesn't it? So we'll have to do it once more. Non-drop power room, silk production throughput and cotton. And this was a mechanized power room that produced fabric with a much higher quality than before, but also the one and the same machine could produce several different types of fabric which made it extremely flexible. Good. Okay, one year draft. I think it's starting to help where internal migration, the population is increasing and I don't see any... No, we still get external immigration. It's just the population is increasing really fast. That's good. Yeah, they are above 50. So what about in here? Justify war. Establish protectorate 15. So if we are discovered, we are pretty much fucked because anyone will be able to attack us immediately. Hey! Iron Breach Wooded Artillery is done. Uh, so these are so cheap. Let's get early railroads and Queen Coal and all these uh, middle tech that we need. Okay, Pontiac. Okay, we could make them a puppet for seven infamy. I think we're gonna go with that. Uh, they're a big nation, let's have them under our thumb.